Nectar collectors, dab straws, honey straws used to be my favorite type of concentrate device. And I will admit I, I've used them a lot, but it was my favorite device before I truly understood how to dab and before I truly knew what a good dab was. It actually wasn't my first rig. My first rig had a quartz banger, which is a really good option. And I ultimately switched to a dab straw. And I, bro, I used to go on hikes. I used to take it with me everywhere. I used to do all of my hits out of dab straws. I, I used to buy different glass pieces for it. I would try out different tips. I had different sizes. Like it was my go-to hiking piece when I lived in Colorado. I remember I had this little box. I'd put a dab tool in there, a torch, my honey straw or my nectar collector in there and i would usually bring like a big old silicone container of concentrate this was back in the day years ago before people really knew what dabbing was nowadays i say bro don't get one i'll say dab straws are, are fundamentally incorrect for concentrates like you shouldn't be using a dab straw not even the electric ones are that good like if you're investing money to get something probably not the electric honey straw but there's a few reasons why i i really say you shouldn't use them and one of the first reasons i said it it's it's fundamentally incorrect like think about a straw tip you ever use a dab straw it's got a nice little tip it's it's like a straw now compare that to something like a bang or another standard piece for dabbing that's like a bowl so we're talking about a straw versus a bowl now what these devices are supposed to do is provide enough heat for the concentrate on it to vaporize and it doesn't happen instantaneous if it's happening instantaneously if you turn a whole glob of concentrate into vapor instantly it's way too hot and you almost have to do dab straws too hot to get like a good sized hit there's different size tips out there but ultimately you kind of to get a big hit you kind of have to overheat it and accept the fact that you're going to do part of your dab too hot because when the concentrate touches the nail it cools it off so in some cases you have to go a little bit hotter than you intend to because you're accounting for the fact that it's going to cool down so nectar collector hits are ultimately like a little bit on the hotter end and they're a little bit on the quicker end it's kind of like a vape pen it's like a hot short hit if you get a lower temp hit it's not really going to give you a ton of vapor in most cases hard to master that perfect flavor that it reminds me like when i give my dog a treat and they eat it in like two seconds they chew it up the second it leaves my hand and it's gone and i'm like bro how did you eat that so fast did you even taste it but another thing that happens is you end up reclaiming a lot of your concentrate a lot of these companies that sell the device are like, yeah, bro, just stick the tip right in your concentrate container, right in the gram, two gram, whatever you got. A lot of these companies will recommend you just stick the tip right in there. Don't do that. Literally don't do that. You, If you're using a honey straw, a nectar collector, you don't have an immediate way to switch to something else. Start using a dab tool or, or separate your hits. Because when you try to just dab a little bit off a whole gram or something, you're gonna create way more waste than you needed to. It really turns your wax into like a liquid because it's it's got a hot tip on it and you just start sucking up reclaim. Your average person that uses a nectar collector regularly, if they don't clean their piece daily, it's full of reclaim. Like I would go through like two or three grams of concentrate back in the day. You'd have like three quarters of a gram, a full gram of concentrate of reclaim just inside the piece because it, it it, it's fundamentally designed wrong. You, you don't have enough surface area. The concentrate doesn't have enough time to sit on that tip to vaporize like it would in a banger where you can spin it around on that surface. Slurpers are like an extended version. You have more surface area for the concentrate to move around on a vaporize. With straws, the tip is hot and you're supposed to suck it in. The, the actual technique is to push the tip against it and as vapor is being created, you pull as lightly as you can to not suck the wax, but just the vapor. But like, you could be the best at it. You could practice every day and you're still gonna be sucking reclaim into your honey straw, nectar collector, whatever you wanna call it. And now this creates another one of the dangers. Now I've experienced this in the past, probably some people watching have experienced this. Leave me a comment and let you know. But sometimes when you suck that reclaim into the tip and you go to reheat it for the next hit, you might not see it especially if you're using like a, a colored glass or like a metal tip, you might not see that reclaim built up in there when you go to heat it, it's ready to drip out. You're usually aiming that tip downward. Now look, I'm a tall guy, I'm a lanky guy, all shorts on me end up being short. Who wears short shorts? I do, and you know what happens if you wear short shorts and you have hot concentrate or reclaim dripping out of your honey straw as you go to take a hit over your lap? Look, you get a big old glob of hot reclaim on your thigh. I can tell you from experience experience it's not as fun as it sounds and it doesn't sound fun now it, it might not drip on your leg but having hot concentrate hot reclaim drip out of your rig is dangerous you got little pets around you got bare feet it, it could hit your toes could hit your friends it's like a common occurrence that you're going to be pulling reclaim into your straw but it 
it, it's also pretty common for it to get heated up and drip back out. Now, another thing I've experienced, and I've only experienced this with honey straws. Most of the time when you dab, you're not really like wiping the straw tip like you would a banger. Most people aren't, especially back in the day when I was getting into dabbing 2015, like what's a Q-tip? But I've only seen this with honey straws, and I think it's because uh, there's a bunch of reclaim built up. But tell me if you've seen this. Anybody ever heat up a straw tip and it just starts to smoke? But you see like a solid film of smoke. I think it's like a, a soot or something that's like from your reclaim getting overheated or burning off. But this used to happen to me only when I would use a honey straw. I would torch it up and then like a soot would come off and it would like stick to the wall. Or it, would be, it would be something you could catch out of the air and it was like a black film. And I only ever experienced this with honey straws. And I th think it's due to the fact that you're not wiping out the tip. You're just letting that wax build up in there and then you're torching it again. You don't really do that on a banger. But it made me think like, bro, what, what is this? It's like, it's like, like a, a physical smoky looking thing and then it's solid it, it, it'll stick to the walls is that going in my lungs so maybe well, maybe somebody a little more science savvy knows exactly what that is maybe it's not soot I don't, I don't know that's the only word i can think of but realistically most people using a honey straw even electric ones you just you're just sucking a lot of that concentrate in even if you got great technique down, you're not able to get like a really big, good, flavorful hit like you can with a banger or a slurper or an e-rig or something like that. Even the electric ones, even if it can maintain a certain heat, it just doesn't have enough surface area for that concentrate to sit for long enough to vape. It only has the option to really get sucked into the rig. Now, I will say I have mentioned in the past, I think that a straw would be good for like the last little bits of a container. You scoop most of it out, but there's a few spots in there that you can't quite get. I used to say it was good for that, but I've changed my mind. It's not. Get yourself a tiny little spatula. They make tiny little like cosmetic spatulas. Head on over to Spatula City. Get a small spatula. You don't need to use a straw. Either way, here's a rant about straws. Come get high with me on my Twitch channel. Wednesday nights are movie nights. Have a lit day, my dudes.